Hey Sagittarius, how's it going? Welcome back. And for those of you, <clears throat> excuse me, for those of you that are new, I am so grateful you're here. My name is Sam. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, guys, this is going to be a timeless love reading. So whenever you feel drawn to the title, to the messages within, you feel like it's resonating with what you're currently going through or looking for, then that's when it's meant for you to hear. Um, if this session of readings does not resonate, go ahead and head over to my um, page. There are multiple readings I post each and every day. Always take what resonates and then always head over and watch your rising, your moon, and your Venus placement sign readings for additional clarity. All right, guys, quick reminder, I'm giving away two free personal readings for the month of September. So if you are new, go ahead and subscribe so you can take part in the monthly giveaways. Um, and then new and returning subscribers, leave the word fall down below. Anything that you consider fall, an emoji, the word, leave that down below in the comment section at the end of each and every month. I do these monthly giveaways. At, each, at the end of each and every month, I will randomly choose those people to win the giveaway. Um, and then I'll always remind you to check your notifications at the end of the month because like I said, two people this month will be hearing from me. With the beginning of month reading, each and every month, I announce the next giveaway. All right, let's get into it, Sagittarius. What is coming towards you in terms of love? Family. You could have children. They could have children. You may meet someone through um, a family member. Someone coming towards you that feels like home. Possibly meshing of a family or you're in separation from someone that you had a child with. <clears throat> Guys, excuse me for my voice. Wallflower. Yeah, you're not really feeling intrigued. I feel for some of you, you're feeling unnoticed by someone. Whether you were ghosted or gaslighted. I really feel like, is this person paying attention to me? Is this person receiving my messages? Is this person hearing what I'm saying? I do feel that there is someone who's gone cold on you. You could be dealing with an air um, sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But I feel like this person has gone cold. May have seemed warm. They go back and forth with cold or warm. Um, you feel like... At times they show up, at times they feel restricted from you. Let's see what else we can get. Spirit for my Sagittarians. Yeah, I feel like it's a very slow moving energy. Like it's almost like you're viewing it as there's no progress at all. But look at this. I do feel this person is going to reach out. I was drawn to this deck and at the bottom is dating. <clears throat> but sometimes this image is in different decks as the two of cups. And it caught my vision as a soulmate connection. And I just looked down at my phone and spirit is confirming 1111. Guys, sorry, I had to pause it to clear my throat. This per I, I, I feel like this person is getting hoarse on like what, what to say to you. I feel like they're, they have responsibilities. So do you, you know, you might both even be focused on your goals. Taking a new job, maybe, you know, taking a different course, going back to school. You know, some of you might be going through a financial hold, just like some kind of restriction. And I feel that that's where the slow moving energy comes in at. Two people parting, needing space. All right, let's see. Oh, look at that. Let me, I don't know how they ended up in this deck. Let me make sure those cards aren't in this deck. Look at that. OMG, judgment. All right, let's see. Yeah, I have to say I feel this temper this pause is temporary between you and this person. 
All right, we're going to do your energy, the tower. I really feel you may even be going through some turmoil, Sagittarius. Take it how it resonates, the energy. An ending that might have occurred that really shook you. It could have been an ending with this person that has really set you back. And you've been in slow progress getting back to the best version of you. Yeah, this person is showing up as the moon. I feel like you had a romantic connection with this person. Almost like fantasy-like. Maybe you thought that this person was too good to be true. For some of you, you thought, you know, this was wishful thinking, too good to be true. And it, it's just they showed up in the very beginning and then they went cold. I heard they were great until they weren't. I do feel this person is missing you and suffering in silence. Overall outcome, six of wands, eight of pentacles, two of wands. I do feel progress here. I feel both of you are thinking about the future. How to move forward together. Wanting to plan a future together. With six of wands, it's success, it's accomplishment, it's coming in confident and moving forward, taking this opportunity and moving forward with it. Yeah, I feel like both of you are in your head space about each other. I have to say, if you're seeing this and it's resonating when I'm posting it, we're in intense energy. We have consecutive super moons following each other. Um, August being one, September, and I think October is another one. Also in October, beginning of the month, is a new moon. And it's a solar eclipse. So a sense of nostalgia, reminiscing. It's also a time for you to really manifest what you want in terms of love. King of Cups. Queen of Wands. I feel like there is an ending between you and someone, but I feel like neither one of you have... It's like this person is checking behind their shoulder like a Sagittarius. Still there? Are they thinking about me? Man, am I attracted to Sagittarius. A lot of feelings and emotions are here. They view you as their perfect partner. But I feel deep down, so do you. That's why you didn't want this change. That's why you didn't want this ending. And this could be multiple things. You know, what kind of turmoil was going on? What what kind of challenges lied ahead? And it may be an ending that was so unexpected in your eyes. They just came out of left field and they said, you know what? I'm just not feeling this. this isn't the time. I, I really don't think I can go on with this. But they're checking behind. They're so attracted to you. It's almost like you have them smitten. Even though they parted ways, there's no way that they haven't stopped, you know, wanting to check on you to see how you're doing. Are you okay? Have you moved on? All right, let's see. Clarifying the moon as their energy, seven of swords. Like I said, this person is suffering in silence. And look at this. Wanting to, look at this, wanting to heal and ask for a second chance. Seven and three is a ten. This ending is occurring. This person is suffering in silence. Do not think for one second, Sagittarius, that they've completely let go. And then we have overall outcome. The lovers, the hierophant. And the Eight of Swords. Look at this. Forward movement. Remember 1111? Was that on my phone? That soul connection that I was picking up on? That spirit came through clarifying. Eight of Wands is movement forward. It is from a past lifetime into this lifetime. It is Cupid's arrows of communication coming in.
I feel the crossroads that both of you are at is temporary. I feel wisdom and lessons being learned on both of your parts separately. And it's possible, Sagittarius, for a select few of you, you might have met someone who had a family, who had children. They were married. You felt like, if you look at these images, you felt like, I'm not being noticed. I'm not getting the time that I want. I'm not getting what I feel like I deserve. And, you know, I feel a sense of coldness happened between you and this person. You know it's an intense connection. You know it's, you connect with them on a strong soul bond. And you're wondering, like, well, then why did they have to be with someone else? Why are they married? Why did we part ways? Why didn't we meet each other sooner in life? And we can't answer all those questions. It's not meant for us to know exactly what is to come or why things happened the way they did. The Ace of Water. See, even in distance, the two of you are connected, Sagittarius. And this could even be physical distance, like different state, different country. You know, some traveling that needs to occur. Purging and releasing. What is keeping that distance? Fears, anxiety, letting go, self-love. All right, Sagittarius, what I see is two people that part it ways and neither one of you had let go. But I do feel the breakthrough is going to be divinely guided. I feel in the moment both of you are focused on yourselves and self-love. And I really feel it's overcoming fear. This person, if they're coming from another relationship or you are coming from another relationship, you know, closing an end to another, like to a chapter in your lives, both of you may need to heal. You know, both of you may need to let go of certain coping me mechanisms and fear from previous relationships. But know in letting go, you're evolving. And there will be a chance for a second chance. There will be a chance to heal from this connection, realizing that the two of you, it, it's not fantasy-like. That what you do desire, what you do want in this lifetime with each other, it's doable. It's reachable. But it may mean that in this temporary pause, both of you are evolving. Focusing on yourselves in the moment to purge and release specific things. All right. Let's see what else we can get. What else do you have, Spirit, from my Sagittarius? Life after love. Like I said, both of you are focusing on yourself separately. You're manifesting being together because you're still in each other's mind space and in your heart. But it's like trying to find your happiness separately. All right. We have... Missed love. Unconditional love. Waiting for love. Both of you are holding out for one another. Trying your best to have faith in this distance. But you both are waiting for each other. And I, I remember I said, there's a greater force overseeing this connection. You're missing them just as much as they're missing you. But I do feel it will be divine timing that brings the two of you together. I want to be friends. It's just hard for me right now. Now, you may have said to them in 1122, 1122 just came up on the, well, the synchronicity. You may have said, like, let's be friends. Let's just keep communication. Let's just be there for one another. And they're like, I can't do it. I got to figure things out. They had too many intense feelings for you to really... Like they needed to close space with you, close, make that distance between the two of you to focus on themselves. They had those real emotions for you. 
They didn't have the confidence that they would be able to focus on themselves with you still being there. The stars are aligning for us. There's that greater force. I love it. All right, we'll take them. I needed to release karmic ties to be free for us. Like I said, they may have been walking away from a specific ending to a, another person, another situation. And I have to guard my heart so that I don't get hurt again. All right, Sagittarius. Guys, I'm so excited for the beginning of football. I don't know who's with me on that, but our team is playing um, for the first time tonight, and I'm super excited. We have L, Z, A, N, E, blank Scrabble tile, S, U, H. All right, Sagittarius, do take what resonate, resonates. Leave the word fall or something fallish down below in the comment section. Anytime you want me to tune into Just Your Energy, click on the link in the description box. It'll take you right over to my Etsy shop. Over there, I offer a variety of readings. Um, it is open. It's on sale. So much love and light, guys.